Hey, what's going on guys? Mr. Reaver, it's here, and for today's video, I want to go over the Round 11 SD game that Optic played against Cloud9 and COD Champs this past weekend, and the reason why I want to talk about this is because there was a lot of, I guess, unlucky plays that happened on the end of Optic at the uh, at the end of the round. I want to go over it for you guys in a video, but before I do, please know that I'm not a huge Optic fanboy. I definitely do root for them at LAN events, but I don't really watch a lot of their content. Maybe some of the old men of Optic videos here and there and some homage once in a while, but as for the pro players, I don't really watch a lot of their content but I've been cheering for Optic since Modern Warfare 2. Uh, I first started watching them in the Frag Cup of Modern Warfare 2. Like, I've basically grown up watching them since I was like 11 years old. And I'm 19 now, by the way. So, yeah, I saw on a Twitter video that Optic Alpaca posted the other day. And he slowed down the final seconds of the Round 11 SD game against uh, Cloud9. And when I saw that clip, I was just totally mind blown on what happened. Because, uh, honestly, the way Optic lost, it was kind of BS. And I'm not just saying that because I'm an Optic fan. But they really did lose because of total BS. So, I'm going to slow down the final seconds of the Round 11 game for you guys but uh, before i do here's a clip of the uh, round 11 game in full speed for karma informal you have your work cut out for you 30 seconds that bomb is down c9 has a very nice setup as well formal is able to pick up one he's not going to get traded out as well karma doesn't get the second player coming in challenge over top formal's going to be able to help him out karma going for the kill formal up to you 1v1 situation is all coming over oh! and it's all oh, the 1v1 so in full speed, it basically just looks like a Ricky outgun Karma, but when you slow it down, Karma puts a total of four bullets into Ricky, and even puts first shot in him as well, but uh, Ricky still manages to get the kill on Karma, and you're also going to see that there's some bullets that weren't even registering in this uh, gunfight here, so uh, yeah, keep in mind, every shot that uh, Karma put into Ricky, they were all in the chest area, so for medium range, and yeah, that's very upsetting there, but uh, I do got to give Karma props for being humble about this, because if that happened to me, I'd be super pissed off, but I still never saw Karma tweet or even talk about this kill in a video, so... I do gotta respect that humbleness that Karma's shown here, but uh, you're gonna see Formal come in here and get the cleanup kill. And as soon as I saw this with a couple friends of mine, I was getting really hyped because Optic Formal had three kills in a round 11 game of S and D, uh, and one more would have been an ace, but uh, he just doesn't get it here. So uh, first shot goes off to Assault here, but uh, Formal does put one burst in the M8 in the head and shoulder area of Assault, but he still manages to live through that. Uh, usually the M8 is pretty inconsistent, but I still think the M8 should have at least uh, left him with like one or two more bullets in order to kill Assault. But uh, he still takes two hit markers and he does lose the gunfight. So, yeah, that's how Optic lost at Caught Champs. So it was really upsetting, too. I was really uh, sad that this happened to them. And uh, yeah, Optic really didn't play well in s and I think that was their strategy. They wanted to uh, tank s and and just practice every single game mode. But, uh, you know, whatever happens, it happens in s and I think that was their mindset. And they thought if they could dominate CTF, Uplink, and Hardpoint, then uh, s and should come pretty easy. But that didn't exactly pan out as they uh, hoped it would. Uh, but hey, they're pro players and a guy like me and is in no position to tell them how to play the game. But uh, yeah, that's just what I observed. But actually, Optic didn't even play that bad in S&D because they took Cloud9 to round 11 games twice in the S&D series. So in this stream here, I think they had about 130,000 people watching this one game. And that was just in in, uh, in the Twitch stream. I don't know how many there were on YouTube and other uh, streaming sites. But yeah, there's so many people watching this game. And that just shows how big competitive Call of Duty has been uh, growing now for the past couple of years here. And in Black Ops 3, it's uh, it's been really, really fun. I can honestly say that competitive Call of Duty has been fun to watch and even play too. So um, I'm definitely going to miss it when Infinite Warfare comes out. But I want you guys to let me know what you think about this uh, game here down in the comments. Do you guys think Optic got screwed out of the game or do you guys think uh, C9 went a fair and square? I don't know. I do got to give them props for winning the game because they did play pretty well. But, uh, you know, Optic just had a lot of BS go their way. I don't know if it was because of servers, because the servers were messing up around this time. But uh, they're playing on LAN, so they, that probably doesn't have anything to do with this loss but uh, I don't know again let me know your thoughts about this down in the comments also drop a like if you guys enjoy thank you for watching I'm a vert have a great rest of the day till next time I'll catch you guys later